All right, so our next drawing, guys, is going to be Harry Potter. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're going to go ahead, guys, and we're going to use our balloon technique here. We're going to squeeze Harry Potter's head. We're going to make a shape, a magic shape. What shape are we going to draw? I don't know. We know, know one thing, though, that his nose is going to tell us what kind of shape we need to draw. Now, if we look at this shape right here, we already know that we're going to draw a medium-sized shape. His nose is, he doesn't have a wide nose. He doesn't have a little nose. He has like a regular nose. So we're going to keep our shape kind of medium here. And we're going to draw probably like a, uh, we're going to probably squeeze it here a little bit. Make some of the weight go to the top of the head like this. See, this is the bottom of his head. And we're going to squeeze it like this. Squeeze his head. All right, so let's put the balloon over there. Enough squeezing of balloons. <laughs> All right, so um, let's go ahead and get kicked off, guys. For this, I'm going to be using a, uh, I'm going to use a Sharpie here for this one. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my head shape here. Let me see him in my head first. Looks like he has like a little Z right here. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember he has the the little number he has a little Z right there. <laughs> okay, let me see here. What we got? What we got? <laughs> okay. Harry Harry, but you don't you like to draw three quarters? You may give us some advice. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I've done a couple three quarter pitches on here before. But I'll, I'll do some in, in the next stream. I'll make sure I throw in a couple of three-quarter views for you. Okay, so.
Okay, so guys, I'm almost done here. Okay, now we gotta give him his, you know, we gotta give him his, uh, Okay, okay. So pretty much guys, I got my drawing down to a science here. So I'm gonna um my line work down to a science. So somebody asked me to do this in color. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay, so If I was gonna do this in color, I would probably, I'm gonna use some um, these twisties here, the twisty ones, because I don't have my other colors out here today, so I'm gonna do some twisty. So for the twisty ones, I'll use like a peach color, kind of like this one here. Let's see here. This is going to go by fairly quick. This is just our preliminary stuff, guys. You know, we gotta put your first layer down and teach you guys how to color today. <laughs> Show you guys how I color. Okay, so then after, after I put my first layer down, then I'll come back and I'll do like uh, the effects to make it a little bit more 3D. So I'll just press a little bit harder. Kind of like you guys see me use the gray marker. Well, that's what I'm doing with this marker, but I'm just pressing harder uh, in those spots where I want it to be a little bit darker. And still yet, I have a marker that I kind of combine uh, with the color. I, I Just something I discovered one day in the laboratory. Everything blew up, <laughs> but I discovered. there guys okay so I gotta go I got another color here that I'm gonna use now this is gonna be like a oak like a oak colored furniture marker I found this somewhere Potter's been trumped <laughs> awesome okay so I'm gonna go ahead 
and I'm gonna color in, put like a little bit of a shade here. So you'll see me use this marker, kind of like I used the gray Crayola. Okay, a little shade here, a little here. Okay, just like that. Okay. All right, mm, we don't really need to put too much uh, shade on that. So let's go ahead and go to the eye color. I see that we got like a blue here, so not to worry. I keep plenty of blue in my bag right here. So I got blue, because his eyes are really, really, really like wizard blue, okay? So watch this here, we're gonna go ahead and put those blue eyes in there. Oh man, look at that. Now it's starting to, yeah, there we go. Oh boy, wait a minute, oh, oh, it's going down. All right, so let's go ahead and get some, um, the black marker, we're gonna use that to do the hair with. Okay, so let's go ahead and knock out that hair. Remember to always color kind of in the direction that your hair is going. Let me just turn my paper a little bit here. Ooh, got to turn it real quick, guys. Hold on one sec. Because I'm not drawing on my easel. I can't draw. I, I got to turn my paper sometime to get that right angle I want. Ooh, okay, back to, the, back to square one. Put a little dark around here. Here, and we've got the color... Okay, and let's go ahead and just color this in real dark here. Just a little bit. Okay. Now, let me see here. What are we missing? Let's go back to our uh, Sharpie here. Just want to darken those glasses in just a little bit. And then I'm going to show you guys what I do at work to put my highlights in there. I'll do something kind of kind of unorthodox, but I do it anyway. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to use like maybe, uh, I believe he hit, it's like a red tie almost, like a red with some stripes in it. I'm just going, you know, I'm just making this up right now as I go along. <laughs> okay, so you can see he got his like tie on there and this will be like his, his little insignia from his, you know, from the campus. All right. Okay, and... Here, I'll just use this to color in his, uh, the jacket part here, you know, his wizard robe. Okay. And then let me see here. Now, let me go over, go over the hair just a little bit more just to bring out these little parts here okay 
let me bring my paper down and let me let me stop here just to get a, a read a couple of my comments here okay um <laughs> thanks blaze studio i appreciate you okay i'm using crayola chalk hey crayola chalk is actually really good you can use crayola chalks to color hey whatever makes you happy you know you got like i said it's all about your style the most important thing is getting the lines down if you can't get you got to get them to look kind of like that person you know that's that's the most important thing about the caricature you know you want to make sure you give your uh, interpretation of them the, sh the shapes and the circles and the squares you got to know where to put those at to make them look like this person i mean i'm going to tell you something like literally you guys and no playing around that a caricature like i said is all a caricature is once again is how simply you can do a shape remember i told you use your tree leaves as your shape here these are your eyes maybe you want to use a you can use a tri you can use a triangle for the nose you can use a uh, a moon shape for your mouth okay it doesn't matter your relationships between how far you place these you know it's like mr potato head the relationships how far they apart from each other what angle are they at these are the things that you're doing when you make up a cartoon so don't get it complicated in your head don't no matter when you're drawing a cartoon no matter what you're drawing don't make it complicated stop don't look at all the it's like seeing a problem right okay you ever met a person that that when you talk to them about something or something's going wrong they sit there and they talk about all the problems and never talk about a solution to the problem okay well don't be that person when you're drawing Just don't look at problems don't look at uh uh all the steps you got to take to do something because that'll keep you that'll get you out of your motivation zone you know what i mean somebody says i want to start a business but then okay i gotta go get my taxes done i gotta find employees i gotta get out of bed oh my god <laughs> and then next thing you know bam you out of there you ain't even went one day you didn't take one step in a positive direction to start your business so when you're doing the picture i want you to think about it like life okay don't think about all this oh what everybody's gonna think and i gotta do it so everybody likes me and everybody likes my don't do that dig inside your head look in your head and see that person as a cartoon and then draw him. that's it there's nothing else to it and your cartoon may not look like mine if they're a different artist your cartoons are not going to look like mine mines are not going to look like yours I've seen some guys do some cartoons, and I'm like, man, I really like that guy's style. And a couple of times, I've actually tried to, I told my wife, you know, I think I'm going to try to change my style up. She's like, no, don't try to be that guy. Be your own individual artist. That's what's going to set you apart from the other guys that are doing it. That's, and it's true for baseball. It's true for basketball. It's true for that. You got to make up your individual style, and you will be successful at doing this and and no matter what you're trying to do, whatever endeavors you take on in life, you're going to be successful as long as you keep that principle. Don't look at all the difficulty. Look at only ways to succeed, and you shall succeed. Okay? All right, guys. So um, I'm going to – let me see here. It's about 5.07. Let me see. But let me finish up this cartoon. Oh, my God, I'm talking you guys to death. There's too much talking. Not enough drawing. Y'all can say that to me. It's okay. I won't get mad. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Okay. So here we go. Let me put my... um. Hey, look. We'll use a nice little highlighter here and give him some... You know, because he's doing some magic. We're going to have a magic highlighter there. And then... Um, I don't know what the name of his wand is. I forgot the name of it. But we'll just color it in real quick. We'll make it a brown one. Okay. All right. So, guys, that's pretty much it. That's our little cartoon drawing. Hopefully, that was a cool drawing of uh, Harry Potter for you. It's the best I got. Sorry about that, guys, if it wasn't super fresh, but <laughs> it's my little cartoon. Okay, so let's put... Uh, 
we just put Harry Potter over here and since it's in color we'll just put it write his name in color I can't count the amount of times I've been called Harry Potter in my lifetime because my name's Harry it's like one of those names that not everybody has yeah okay so let's sign our work here okay and there you have it guys Harry Potter hello there I hope you enjoyed this video oh you did well then you see that subscribe button below push it and after push the bell icon next to it and select the all 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 option then you will get notifications of all new uploaded videos and when I go live oh yeah so thanks for watching and subscribing and check out these other videos for more cool stuff have a great day and Happy Pencil.